Hello, good morning, and thanks for joining me on business. Entrepreneurs usually cite high lending rates as a major factor accounting for the high cost of doing business in the country. Uh, this they have also blamed on the high monetary policy rates and the treasury bill rates. Other players in the financial industry sharing this, while well, the founder of NDK Financial Services, Woko Nikoijani, for instance, believes there is more to it. According to him, the transaction time for securing credit is a major factor that is usually overlooked. He has been speaking to Joy Business as his company celebrates 25 years of operations in Ghana. Beyond the policy rates, treasury bill rates, is a cost of doing business. So far as we are concerned at NDK, our focus has always been the cost of doing business. And that largely is on the, has been on the higher side. And that is what affects uh, most businessmen. You know? And you know, talking about cost of doing business, you certainly have to look at the illiquidity or liquidity in the system and how long it takes for a transaction to close. Because if it takes so long, interest obviously will also eat into the bottom line of the customer. And when it takes time, it is not necessarily because the customer may not have performed. But you can perform a business or a transaction on behalf of anybody. It can be government, it can be any uh, institution. But the delay in paying you also means that you have to uh, uh, suffer a much higher interest cumulatively on your transaction than you normally would have been. But mind you, if you look at the profit and loss account of every businessman, interest rate is there. But transportation, telephone, fuel, all of these things, salaries and all are part of the cost to any businessman. So um, what I'm saying here is that the cost of doing business in Ghana uh, uh, can be described as on the higher side. Now, fuel supply in the aviation sector is expected to see a significant improvement following inauguration of a 10 million litre storage facility at the Kotuka International Airport. This follows a partnership between the storage company Blue Ocean Investments and UPI Petroleum, now Puma Energy Distribution Ghana. The facility, which is for storing and supplying high quality and affordable aviation fuel at the airports. Speaking with Joy Business after the launch, Managing Director of Puma Energy, Miles Bouvier Baird, said, this should boost aviation fuel supply to the benefit of the local economy. We've been active in Ghana since 2006 when we constructed the offshore mooring system uh, that accommodates product import into the country. We've been operating that successfully for the last 10 years and without interruption. Since then, uh, in 2014, Puma Energy took a minority stake in UBI Petroleum or UBI Group, which consists of two local partners. Blue Ocean Investments uh, in the field of product storage, supply and product import, and UBI Petroleum, now Puma Energy Distribution Ghana, in the field of retail, uh, business to business, and of course aviation. Uh, you know, we're working on, uh, on improving our, our business here, on uh, growing our business through more retail stations, through more customers, uh, whether it be in aviation, or whether it be in mining, or whether it be in other business to business activities. So this facility is the Katoka International Airport uh, Storage Depot, and it's, uh, it's run by Blue Ocean Investments, one of our local partners. It's a 10 million litre storage facility um, and what it does is it provides security of supply for the airport. Uh, back in 2013, before this depot was in existence, the other storage facility is only 750,000 uh, uh, litres um, and at, uh, at times that wasn't enough storage to guarantee security of supply. So you can imagine airlines don't want to come to a place where they can't guarantee to be able to refuel. Miles Bouvier Baird is the managing director of Puma Energy. And that's it for business for now. Do join us again at midday for more business news updates. My name is Emmanuel Abuajiriafi.